Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video I'm going to be covering Raiden. He made his first appearance in the video game Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty that was published by Konami and released on PlayStation 2 in November 13th of 2001. Now his real name is Jack, but he's also known as Jack the Ripper, White Devil, Snake, Mr. Lightning Bolt, and Saucy Jack. Being a Liberian-American mercenary and special forces soldier that was born in 1983, being listed at 5 feet 10 inches tall in earlier games, but more recently being listed at 6 feet 2 inches. Also having blue eyes, although one of them is cybernetic and turns red when he's in his Jack the Ripper mode, and having light silver hair. Raiden has spent many years with different combat organizations, at various times being part of the United States Army's Force 21 and Foxhound, as well as the Army of the Devil, and the Patriots, Philanthropy, the Paradise Lost Army, as well as Maverick Security Consulting, Inc. And when this is combined with the fact that he had very harsh training as a child soldier under Solidus Snake, it's understandable that he's one of the best operatives in the world. Although this has also come at the cost of some of his social skills and mental stability, suffering from PTSD and pushing those people that are closest to him away. Not to mention the fact that he had to constantly hold back his bloodlust that he developed as a child and would only occasionally let loose his berserker Jack the Ripper persona whenever the situation required a little more savagery. When this happens, he tends to break into a maniacal laughter when killing his enemies while radiating a crimson aura. Matter of fact, Raiden leans towards being antisocial anyway, with the iconic Solid Snake being one of the few people that he had full respect for, since Raiden admired his legendary accomplishments. Raiden was adept with a variety of weapons, from small arms to surface-to-air missiles, but he strongly leans towards melee combat, particularly with bladed weapons, such as his HF or high-frequency blade. His most recent specialized version of this unique sword boasted a blade that was reinforced by a powerful alternating current and resonating at an extremely high vibration frequency. This actually weakened the molecular bonds of anything it cuts, slicing through basically any material like it's butter. Additionally, his HF blade was designed to absorb energies and electrolytes from its victims, using this to charge his onboard MCFCs, or molten carbonate fuel cells. Now, of course, this was after he acquired his custom cyborg body, becoming a literal cyborg ninja. Actually, after getting his full body cybernetic enhancements, Raiden's overall strength, speed, agility, dexterity, durability, and endurance increased to vast superhuman levels. This pressurized and armored form gave him the ability to lift over 1,000 tons, easily swinging huge mechanized platforms like geckos around in circles with his legs, and temporarily stopping the massive submarine known as Outer Haven, simply by using his bare hands. Mind you that these are just samples of his many feats. His cybernetic architecture was designed in a way that he could use his feet as hands, being able to intricately hold and use objects such as his HF blade. This dexterity also extended to the use of his mouth, being able to use his cybernetic jaw to wield his sword with precision. Raiden has the speed and endurance to move at over Mach 1 for long periods, and he's fast enough to run straight up walls without falling. Not to mention that he can swing his sword faster than the human eye can see, easily deflecting bullets and slicing things into multiple pieces before you even know what happened. And with his most current cybernetic body, his durability nears invulnerability, being almost totally made out of cutting edge experimental steel alloys and artificial muscle fibers, which has made him resistant to most blunt force trauma as well as microwave emitters. And with a name like Raiden, I guess it's appropriate that his cyborg body can also sometimes generate electricity on several occasions demonstrating a lightning-like power as well as discharging electrical bolts whenever he's in fast movement. The only weaknesses that you could say Raiden has or had was his original cyborg body had relatively low durability, although this was greatly increased with his later custom cyborg body. He could also not swim after he became a cyborg, he himself stating that his weight and density wouldn't allow for him to float. But overall, what you're left with is arguably the strongest cyborg in any video game franchise. 
I mean, it's hard to argue against that when some of his game-based moves are known as Thunderstrike, Falling Lightning, Lightning Strike, Stormbringer, Downburst, and Turbulence. Raiden leaves a wake of destruction in the waves of his enemies. Now, it's stated that Jack was born on a rainy day in Liberia, then growing up in the tough period of the first Liberian Civil War. He was taken in and adopted by Solidus Snake, who had actually killed Jack's parents. But from this point forward, he was raised as a child soldier. This time in his life was horrible, but his training was very extensive, and he became very good at taking out enemies, acquiring his aliases as White Devil and Jack the Ripper due to his very high kill rate when compared to other boys his age. His savagery and the fact that he was one of the few Caucasians born in Liberia made him stand out and become almost legendary as a child. After the war was over, Solidus had Jack placed in a relief center, where he was eventually removed by a non-governmental organization, but then taken to the U.S. He and some other surviving members of the small boy unit would then undergo several extensive rounds of counseling before becoming at least outwardly stable. Jack would then come to the hands of the Patriots organization, who implanted his cerebral cortex with high concentrations of nanomachines, which served as a backup system for an optic neuro AI and could also manipulate memories. Jack would now grow up in America, although he wasn't listed under any U.S. databases. Jack would grow and continue to struggle with memories of his childhood. But not surprisingly, when he was old enough, he joined the U.S. military his skills being recognized by the U.S. Army's Task Force 21. He would go on to meet his off-again, on-again love named Rosemary and would then be recruited into the elusive Foxhound Organization, a special forces unit that no longer officially existed. But after several missions, it was shown that Raiden was merely a puppet of the Patriots Organization and that all of his current missions had been carefully scripted. He was literally told that he was just a Patriot weapon, with no purpose other than what they told him to do. Jack then being disgusted with this revelation, declared that he wouldn't follow the Patriots' commands anymore, which then led to a fierce battle with their leader, who was Solidus. Jack won the fight and was then reunited with Snake, who assured him that he was not the puppet of anyone anymore and that he could shape his own destiny. From there, Jack would go on to further study the way of the samurai and swordsmanship techniques, as well as hunting and scouting techniques from Native American shaman. It was during this time that he also discovered that the Patriots organization was a threat to the entire world and not just America. He'd then decide to work for the Paradise Lost Army and infiltrate Patriots headquarters to try to retrieve Big Boss's remains. But this would lead to him being captured, and the Patriots used him as a test subject for experiments in exoskeletal enhancement surgery. They would completely strip him of his body, excising his head with upper jaw and his spine from the rest of his body, and grafting it into an enhanced synthetic body. But with the help of the Paradise Lost Army, Raiden would eventually escape. And after having surgery to purge his body of the Patriot nanomachines, he would return and successfully take Big Boss's body from the Patriots. After this, the new Raiden would continually prove to be an indispensable ally to Solid Snake, who happens to be the main iconic protagonist to the Metal Gear series. Now, following the end of the war economy, Raiden had difficulty returning to normal civilian life. So he decided to return to the military sector so that he could provide for his family, joining the private military corporation, or PMC, named Maverick Security Consulting, Inc., and having his original cyborg body upgraded for the first time. He'd now go about a little more incognito, carrying out difficult special operations and high-profile bodyguard tasks. But this new noble position would eventually bring him into conflict with the rogue PMC named Desperado Enforcement, LLC who actually wanted to incite unrest in areas that had become, quote-unquote, too peaceful. The subsequent battles with powerful enemy cyborgs and giant mech AIs like the Metal Gear Rays would lead to Raiden getting various rounds of significant full-body cybernetic upgrades, which were performed by the skilled German scientist known as Doktor. This would culminate in Raiden having immense strength, abilities, and power levels, as I stated earlier. Raiden would even gradually learn to trust the AI unit known as K-9000, or Blade Wolf, enough to very effectively carry out missions together. 
Yet, despite his vast abilities and training, Raiden would be pushed to his very limit before finally defeating the massive, city-destroying Metal Gear Excelsis and its nanotech-enhanced pilot, the anarchist senator named Stephen Armstrong. This amazing feat in itself would further solidify Raiden's position as the apex cyborg in the world. Now, due to his powers and abilities and his influence on the Metal Gear universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Raiden a rating of 10, which is a legendary rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe to the new Sage.